But that is such a good like tool. Uh, I'm pretty sure they probably would have fixed that in Smash 4 if it what well, if it had uh, a longer lifespan. But um, but just, they're just jumping into this. Yeah. I don't think there's a button check. Yeah, it's time to take the train, the Nair train. I think it is a button check. Choo choo. Is it a button check? Nope. No. It is absolutely live. They do. They were just playing the neutral. All <laughs> aboard the Nair plane. Yep. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> yep. Destination. I, 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 uh, get, get I, I, I did a plane and then I made a car noise. That was that, that was horrible, actually. Nah, I, the, the AJ laughed at it, but he laughs at everything. Anyway, game one. We got Frozen <laughs> going up against Jen. Another battle of the House of Three <laughs> after three thousand. House of Three Grain. I used to pronounce it Hawk yeah, because uh, it looked like Hawk. Ha ha. Frozen. Holy. Yeah. Holy. Holy. Frozen. Versus no, but that Holy is House Gen. of Three Thousand. Put on some of the greatest tournaments in our fine area of Tri-State. Yes, absolutely, definitely. As well as Third Day uh, Esports, putting on Kingdom every week on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But right now we have Palutena the Dittos. Yes, the Ditto. And I mean, a lot of people feel like this. Uh, I know you still firmly believe this character is top five. Uh, or at least you said that. Absolutely, this character is absolutely top five. Um, we, yeah. un I mean, we may understand the character. We know all the tools because we've seen them a million times. Doesn't but mean they're not good. Yeah, this character is still very good. Lacks absolutely nothing to be a, a great character, so um, just like yeah, that. Yeah, like whenever I see Pallet players complain about a ground game as that explosive flame is going to take the stock, <laughs> I'm like, dude, she doesn't need one. Yeah. Nair is her ground game. Mm -hmm. And she has like, a good I, jab, yeah. so she doesn't need much of any of that other stuff with yeah. a good jab and great areas. Yeah, doesn't have her jab setups that she had in uh, in uh, the previous game, but she doesn't really need them anymore, you know? She has, like, way like other things to, uh, to compensate for that. Honest to God, when Pallet players complain about, like, Palutena not having a ground game, I want to straight up tell them, I'm like, dude, you're thinking too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, no insult the, to Palo players. She's my, <laughs> she is my secondary herself. I play Palutena. Uh -huh. You're thinking too much. Dude, yep. just Nair. Just I'm press serious. the button. <laughs> and there's another one right there coming out from Jen. Mm -hmm. Getting and, my man frozen off stage. And I mean, I like watching the Ditto because uh, not only do you have to understand the matchup against your character, but you have to be able to play a strong neutral because the same tools that you have are the same tools that your opponent has. Absolutely. So your bait, your bait game has to be great. Your punish game has to be great as well. Ooh, didn't get. Who's teleporting? Who's who's and there? Who's not? Frozen <laughs> winds up on top in that trade. Okay, fourth throw going to put him off stage. No explosive flame. Trying to catch him with the down tilt. Two frame. Not going to get it though. And that uh, that teleport, you have to be there almost. Like it has to be like a double read for you to be able to punish that. You cannot just like see that and then try and punish it. Yeah. I've seen I've seen too many Palutena's teleport. Uh, down tilt and then body somebody for trying to punish them. Yeah, you re you really gotta like, you really gotta put out a pretty long lasting hitbox if you're gonna mm -hmm. want to be able to punish something like that in certain situations, such okay. as rising neutral layers off the ledge. Mm -hmm. So Jen gonna overextend with that grab, gonna put himself off stage. Frozen just trying to keep him there. Grab, down throw. Not gonna get a follow up after that, but Jen still off the stage, not able to make it back yet. That back here trading with that up tilt, really good from uh, Frozen. So now it's Frozen's turn. How do you play the game? Ah, gonna catch him with a fair explosive flame. Now you're in the air. Okay, nice job by Frozen. Dash attack on the clipper. And he keeps overextending with these nares. Almost getting hit with that back here to die, but uh, last hit of the not gonna I don't know, kill Frozen yet. Heard me, man. You're nearing too hard. And the up air gonna be able to close out the stock right there. Yeah. Game numero uno going to Jun. Nice. Nice job by Jun. And what's the bang? Just a stage you don't like? <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly what it is. A state, yeah. Either a stage that you don't like or a stage that you know your opponent doesn't like. I would just ban Lila in this situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No jank. Yeah, it's not th It's not there, but I would just, <laughs> I would, no, seriously, I would just ban Lila anyway. Right? I want to go to... I ban Lila. We do not mm. like uh, slants. Yeah, we don't, we don't like slants here. I actually like crazy. Yoshi's story as a stage, personally, but the slants just... Yeah, the slants yeah. are huge. Yeah. Nonetheless, let's talk about... Uh, what is this, town? This is Smashville. Oh, Smashville. A sh oh. Smashville. Yep. Funny nice enough, work. I think this is actually one of Palutena's kind of her worst stages. Yeah, why at least so? in the legal ones. Just because, like, I feel like you know, if she can't force her advantage on the stage as much in certain matchups against rushdown characters. Okay. I'm talking fast characters like Fox or Sonic who are able to just run under like her auto reticle, her explosive yeah, flame whenever yeah, she does yeah. it. She can't like force it as much. But in certain matchups, I think this stage is wonderful. Like against like maybe like Bowser or Donkey Kong okay. or whatever. Just yeah. stages where like her neutral air is just so hard to get around with the hardest of charges. Down the, smash able to take. The, yo, stock. he charged that before Frozen knew he wanted yeah. to teleport. He was like, bro, you're gonna want to teleport in about 60 frames. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Just so you know, I'm waiting. <laughs> waiting for a big old hug. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm going to take you under my wing, literally, and kill you. <laughs> it's kind of sick. Yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. Um, Frozen. I going to be able to do it. 
Not to say that Smashville is a bad stage. Ooh, and the oh, taunt excuse as well. me, Zane, that I'm was Frozen that got the, that was Frozen that got the near zero to death in the beginning. Yeah, and, no, that was him. And Jen was the Jen one who just, just got that over. Evened it up. Okay. Jen is the purple one. Oh. Kind of mixed it up there. Nonetheless, I mean, pretty even game here. Yo, you do you do understand you just got mixed by both of these guys because you uh, you confused them. I did. Shake both of their hands after this. I set. will shake both at the same time. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a down throw to a bear. Not able to do it. Actually able to air dodge just in time is yeah. frozen. And you can do that. Off stage especially, you're able to do that because you won't get put in the mix. But um, you're still at the edge. Mm. So you're still in a really bad position. One of the worst positions in Smash Ultimate. At being at the edge is, is muy bad. Yeah, no. no <laughs> 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 All right. Down tilt. No down tilt right here, actually. Just, oh, a lot of patience coming in, but he tried to catch him with the up smash. And you know what's crazy? He actually hit him with the up smash, but the dash attack ate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And went straight through it, because the dash ta the up smash actually connected with the shield. Yes. And, but as we all know, as uh, the lasting hitbox of up smash is going to stay out, catch him right there. Yes. Palutena's dash attack has invincibility on the shield. That and her back air. Yep. That's actually one of her uh, only or one of her biggest nerfs from 4 over to this game is that her back air used to make the entire top half of her body invincible. Oh my gosh. And the dash attack used to like, the hitbox used to be huge and completely invincible. Yeah. That's why Palutena bodied like, uh, you know, had a couple of niche matchups uh, in that game, such as Mario, you know, because Mario just had no approach options against her because all she had to do was just stand back and dash attack. Now Palutena has to fight you and she can with that amazing neutral air that she has. Yeah, that's that that sucks. Imagine she had that in this game. I no, Palutena would one hundred one hundred. Don't even don't even mention that. One hundred percent the best character in the game if she had that uh, Smash Four invincibility. Don't, don't even. But I don't want to live in that world. <laughs> okay. Three point is coming soon. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what my father is going to do. Ooh, okay. Back here by Frozen, gonna take that stock from Jen, but he's at zero. Sixty two percent on Frozen. How do you how do you opt this comeback? It's a small comeback, but um. Definitely not out of the realm of possibility for Frozen. I think Palutena has actually has some of the best comeback potential in the entire game. Yes. Just like if she's able to just land one neutral air with that giant exactly. hitbox, it leads into another one, into another one, to another one, which on pretty much most stages is a guaranteed 50%. Yes. And that's that's huge damage for a comeback. Mm -hmm. You know, and then she just faces back air in the neutral just like this, and Jen able to take game two over Frozen. Frozen shaking his damn How head. How scary is that, man? On reaction, he just back aired, and it... First of all, it'll probably trade with your getup attack. I mean, you're not going to beat getup attack, but it'll trade. Yeah. Um, it's going to be jump. <laughs> it's going to be neutral getup. You have to roll. And by the time you actually get in front of Palutena, she's just going to grab you and back throw you. That is such a scary position to be in exactly. against Palutena. Just, you know what's a scary position against Palutena? Just fighting her. <laughs> scary I'm position. Uh, as soon as the just, game starts. Yeah, as soon as the game starts, basically. She's just good in, like, pretty much almost every situation. Yeah. yeah. A lot of top players think she's only going to get worse as time goes on. I kind of agree with that opinion, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, just feel like, you know, her game plan is going to become a little linear as time goes on. But that's then. This is now. Yeah. We don't I, know that for a fact. I think as far as the meta goes, oh, she'll, she'll... Oh, yeah, yeah you... Air dives off the stage. Right, I think as far as the meta goes, she's going to go down because yeah. we're going to learn the matchup. There's too many Palutena's. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to know the matchup like the back of your hand. But as a character, she lacks nothing. If they don't touch her, she lacks nothing, and her disadvantage is one of the best in the game. Yeah, I, whole, I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think the exact same thing is going to happen with Wolf because mm -hmm. like every, Wolf is the new wave right now. Everyone's talking about Wolf and everything, but people are going to learn how to fight him eventually yeah. too. So. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not afraid of Wolf at all. I mean, I don't know if it's because I play Roy, but I'm not afraid of Wolf. <laughs> I don't know if it's except I, when you get like down smash. I don't know if it's because I play Mario and my character is just so mobile and that just gets so much off of grabs. Whoa! What was that? I, did, I I blinked. I know you were. I know you blinked. I saw you, but like I can't even explain it myself. He just got hit with like a fully charged down smash. My man didn't Ugh. die. He didn't die. I mean, he did die because he got launched far enough off stage. Uh -huh. He didn't have a jump, but like it just didn't kill him raw off the blast zone because he was on the other side of Smashville. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So you see Jen uh, evening this one back up, uh, which is bad because not only is the game even, but he has deed in the beginning. Yeah, my man. My which man means Frozen. Frozen is kind of tilted. He has to be tilted at this point. My man Frozen is down 2 0. I mean, he's definitely in like the ultimate we take those. Yeah. And now he's going to have to take something else if he wants to be able to win this game. And he got the explosive flame and was able to shield the one that was spawning on top of him. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
That was nuts. That's crazy. So now uh, Jen's Explosive Flame wasn't even worth, like, not even close to worth. <laughs> uh, you will say that about Explosive Flame, though. I mean, despite how good that move is, it is one of the most visually reactable moves in the game. Yes. Yeah, when you see it come out, you know, if, like, you, your buttons, if you're in a good enough of a position to the point where you can react to it, you should be able to avoid it. Yep. The move is amazing, but it is kind of overrated, in my opinion, just yeah. a little bit. Absolutely. Me too. But the thing is, it's so scary on hit that as soon as you hear explosive flame, you automatically just Honestly, put your shield out. Yeah. That's what people do. And it's like, if you shield it, you're not going to be able to punish it. If you're dashing towards Palutena you, and you run past it, you're good. She's going to eat a full punish for that. Ooh, that's a wall. Mm. Just putting it up there faster than any president ever could. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice job by Frozen. He, uh, he was able to uh, kind of stand his ground and not give in to the uh, to Jen, kind of even in the stocks back up after mm. SDing really hard. We're immediately going to Final Destination. Mm -hmm. My man's saying, I want no platforms. Yes. I want to nair you. Because, I mean, Frozen is definitely one of the more heavy uh, teleport cancel carry, uh, play. I was talking about that so yes. much he before you on commentary. He loves it. And he only does it in situations where it's applicable, and yeah. he never messes it up. Yes. He utilizes uh, flow canceling, or warp canceling. Yeah. Flow canceling. <laughs> he utilizes warp canceling better than legit any Palutena I've ever seen, yeah. except maybe Nairo. Nairo's, Nairo's, Nairo's is good pretty as disgusting, well. yeah. And then right after them, I would say is uh, Fruit. Fruit yeah, Fruit is really for sure. good at, at doing that as well. I will say Fruit, personally, I think she does it a little too much, but like she like she's flashy with it because yeah. like she knows how to do like, she knows all like the fancy like float yeah. setups and everything, but yeah. that's, but Frozen that's her, is, you know. Yeah, Frozen is, is definitely really good with it, and he's not like, he's very optimal. Yeah, with definitely like top three float like warp canceling Kyle Tanis. Yeah. In that order. In okay. my in that order, in my opinion, <laughs> I will say that. But I don't know. That's a debate for another time. Yeah. Anyway, FD is the pick. No yeah. more platforms. That means no more platform pressure with any neutral airs. Yes. And that means no more that means no more or not as many warp cancels for yes. both of these guys right now. Mm -hmm. I mean they can still do it off of the ledges that are on like Final Destination, but that's really only to edge guard. Unless they're trying to catch like a high recovery, like a high jump or something, and yeah. they like warp cancel to the left and then just do like a rising up air. But if they suspect that coming, which frankly both of these players should, they're both good enough to realize yes. that's going to happen. They will recover low in that situation. Absolutely. And uh, Frozen, I was just getting ready to say, if Frozen knocks you off he's the stage... He's so thirsty! He's <laughs> Dude! <laughs> he's one to use the teleport cancel to get off the stage and then cover the edge. And it's so good because he can just nair and you're, you're going to get hit with it. He just loves to do it and he does it so well. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Just trying to get back to the stage now, though. 98% sand on Frozen. Not yeah. scared that back air gonna eat uh, Jen's jump. And the rising neutral air. Rising neutral airs, not just Palutena's. Any long-lasting nair, Mario's, Pikachu's, anyone's, is actually quite good for stuffing out Palutena's recovery on the yes. way back. And I think more people need to start yes. doing that and realizing that. Mm -hmm. I it, swear to God, like, every absolutely. stock I've taken off of Fruit is like a Mario rising neutral air. And she either misses her tech or it just sends, like, the person yes. the other way. It's absolutely really good because not a lot of people understand how many frames Palutena has before she, hit, like, grabs the edge that she's, like, uh, um... Vulnerable. Yeah. No, uh, people don't really realize that because it's a teleport move, so yeah, the visual cues aren't really there. But yeah. you can absolutely punish that if you're able to keep a hitbox out there. Absolutely. Just a word of the wise from us, us competitors, us commentators, onto you. Palutena's up B is not perfect. Yeah. It, 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 you know, on certain if she recovers from certain angles, you can punish it. Yep. Definitely very hard to punish it when she lands on stage. But if she's going to the edge and you have a long-lasting hitbox, throw it out. Yeah. Which, you know, a lot of neutral airs in this game are pretty amazing. I feel like most characters do. Even a character like Luigi, he has a long-lasting neutral air. Yep. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything else. But <laughs> that's uh, that's the other green-haired uh, competitor. And right now we have Palutena, the good yes. one. Jen and uh, Frozen just like that. And it's a pretty even match. You see Jen trying to put him in the mix right now. Going to trade with Nairs, yeah. I think, just now. That, that was, was interesting. He like just tried. He didn't just keep nairing. Mm -hmm. He could have just kept nairing to get that damage, but he decided to forward air and then like try and catch like uh, mm -hmm. try and catch him air dodging down to grab him or something. But it just didn't work. If anything, it just made him drop his combo. Yeah. You know, I sometimes guess. it's the simple stuff that's more optimal. But I mean, Jen unfortunately not realizing that. Yep. But We're I just mean, not going for that in that situation, at least. But I mean, he's still up right now. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Still up by double the percent. Ooh, try. That was really nice. He tried to read the spot dodge, which is what Frozen did the last two chances he got in that situation. He spot dodged the grab. So uh, Jen tried to punish that with an up smash, but Frozen opted to just sit and shield. Really uh, good option from him. Yeah. I don't really know if that smart. was a read or he just guessed right, but good option. 100% I would have spot dodged there. Absolutely. I, I would have gotten hit by that. I would have been, and I would have been mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway.
Okay. But I'm not in, uh, I'm not in loser's uh, quarters, so. Ooh, and there you go, just catching the very beginning of the set. And the explosive flame nice. to be able to cover that. That was a gorgeous edge yes, guard coming out really from Jin. Good. And that was, and all that happened because Frozen opted not to upbeat immediately to the stage. Mm -hmm. He jumped and kind of hung there a little bit, and Jen threw out a rising there, which clipped him right at the end. Just wonderful edge guarding, wonderful stuff coming out from Jen right there, and he is up a full stock because of it. Frozen needs to take this stock now if he wants to stay in this bracket. He's had such a hell of a run, reading the roll away yes. with the explosive flame on his own, just tacking on that damage and forcing his advantage is House of 3000 Jen. Yes. Looking very poised to be able to take this game. Unless he's able to get a kill right here, went for an up smash read, but unfortunately the start of that move is relatively slow, so he wasn't going to be able to get it right there. Yeah. Palutena's aerials are faster than any of her ground movements Absolutely. still. Absolutely. They always have been, even in Smash 4 when she was bad. So... And there we go. Down but nice not job. out is Frozen. He needs to be able to do something right here. Like, take advantage of an up smash right there. I actually think he up smashed right there because he was going to cover his uh, respawn and vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And he just wanted, like, Frozen to be able to run in and grab him. But okay. the spacing on the back air, what a perfect yes. retreat. And Jen playing really well right now. He's yet to take a percent on his and first stock. And just like that, going to space out that up smash and catch him overextending with that nair. Good job by Jen. You first saw it here, folks. Mm -hmm. And let's see it again. That's really that, that's really good. Look at this. So much pressure over at the edge. All he did was jump back, turn around, wait for that nair, eat the sub smash. My There's guy. no risk. My I'm, friend. At I'm at zero my percent. Friend. I'm at zero percent. There's no risk. My friend, let me show you the light. Literally. The 